Hello, uh, welcome back to another tutorial in Adobe Lightroom version 4. Um, today we're going to take a look at, uh, we got an email asking us how to arrange photos so we can find them faster if you're working in a large collection. So what we're going to do is show you one of the steps that we use. Um, there's many ways to do it, but one of the quick and easy steps that we, can, that we use to kind of narrow that down. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm working in a uh, a preview import which is uh, 31 photos but you can see that all my photos that I'm working on is uh, 1613 so how would you find a certain photo if you were in a large collection or as you work through your collection so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go through here and pick out a, a couple photos so we're going to take the the first five of these photos and I'm going to just click on the first one hit the shift key to select the five photos and now what you do is just right click on it and then right here under set rating um, these are ones that I let's say I, I don't think is going to be the ones that I choose to do it uh, later on as a full edit but I still want to keep them handy so I am going to click here and say one star so now what you see here is I have one star selected on these five photos so photo six, um, this looks to be a little bit better, more uniform picture. So here I'm going to do the same thing, right click on the image, and then I'm going to set this to say three stars. And let's see here, these two, three here, um, I would keep this down in the lower numbers. So we'll just hit shift to select these three right click we're going to set this rating at one star um, the multicolored one here I like this picture here so we're going to set this rating uh, let's raise this up to say four stars um, this image here you can see the lights aren't really really uniformed so I'm going to take this next four images three images and then we're going to right click on here again and then let's do this at one star. Uh, this image here, two colored lights, uh, a little bit different. So I want to make this the five star. Let's say this is one I'm really looking forward to working on. Um, this image here, 17, 18. So now we'll use the control plus the click we'll skip over the image number 16 so we'll right click on these we'll set this rating at one star as well this one we're gonna like uh, let's set this rating at four stars and let's just for the sake of the tutorial just go down here and select the rest of them with the shift key and make these say let's say two stars something we haven't used here okay so now that we've selected the images and put the the ratings on there we can go back to our collection now and you can see now we've got you know 1300 photos to look at so if you wanted to go back and find the images then you know that let's say you wanted to find the five star image well how to do that is up under the what this says filter library filter up under you go to the attribute and you click on the attribute and then what you do you have a flag the ratings the colors um, so what we're going to do is we know that the one we're looking for this says right here filter based on rating we're going to click on this one right here which is the five star image and now it only pulls up the image that we had set as a five star image so we can go back to the develop module and actually and actually look at the image so if we wanted to say do that same thing and just find the ones with the four star images just click on the four star in the line and there's the three that we selected as a four star um, the two star images you can go this way and you pick up all the other ones that you have as far as just and then the one star images so if you're working on a very large collection um, and you just want to separate them real quick into categories without having to go through there's other ways you can go through the metadata um, you know you can go through text if you want to add it in there but just for a real quick reference um, I use the stars uh, one through five 
and then just use the attributes to find your images one through five and then um, when you're done and let's say you no longer want this to show up just up under here um, under the library filter just click none and then you're back to all the images the way that they were you have your entire library um, back here for you to work at but if you want to say now there's other ways to do it we'll go through another tutorial on how to find it um, as far as you know the type of camera that was it was shot with whether it was a Canon a Nikon a Sony um, the metadata you can do it that way you know it'll pick out certain keywords um, that is you know in you know so you, if you had like a certain lens let's say you wanted to to pull up an image that you knew was shot with a certain focal length you can do it that way but you have to use the, the library filter to do so so this is just real quick we'll step through some more if we have any more questions um, uh, thank you for asking about this one I overlooked this one in the last tutorials that we did so if you have any questions on this tutorial um, drop us an email or uh, give us a comment at the bottom of the page and we'll get back to you just as quickly as we possibly can